What's up guys, I'm Steven and I got a new toy. This is the Bantam Tools Mill. This thing is a desktop CNC mill that's geared towards milling circuit boards. You guys might remember that I used one of these for all my synthesizer modules a few months back. Well, the company that makes those things reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked if I want to be one of their creatives in residence, which pretty much means they send me a mill for a month and I get to just like play around with it. This happened right as I was launching the Glowtie Kickstarter and it was so freaking helpful. It came in super handy for prototyping stuff for the Glowtie and a whole bunch of other stuff. Instead of waiting three weeks to get boards when I had a new prototype, I just threw it over the mill and milled it out in like an hour and then I had a prototype and I could test it and see if it was gonna work out. I did that quite a bit. where it super came in handy was with the programmer. Once you solder up a glow tie, it's like dumb, right? There's no code on it, doesn't know how to be a glow tie, how to make all the lights light up and talk to Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. That means I need to program every single one. And as of right now, my Kickstarter is at glow tie 88 backers, which means I need to make 88, no, some of them are doubles. Four of them are doubles. 92, I need to make 92 glow ties as of right now, and there's still like four days left. So how am I gonna program all of these things over and over and over and over again without wanting to punch myself in the face? <laughs> My first solution to programming all these glow ties was this abomination, which you saw in a previous video. This was jank. So using the mill, I made a dedicated, custom-made, gorgeous as can be, glow tie programmer. I started with this sucker. This is an old jig to hold a USB microscope that I accidentally let the magic smoke out of but it just moves up and down really straight and solid when you rotate this dial. And I figured this would be perfect for lowering the pogo pins onto a glow tie for programming it. And then it's really easy to just pick it up, take out a glow tie, put in a different one and bring it right back down. It's gonna go to the exact same place. So I hopped into CAD and designed some parts that would hold the glow tie in place and also hold the programmer PCB and interface them with our microscope jig. And because now I work at Form Labs, I printed them on a Form 2 in gray pro resin and bam, look at those babies. So this is a little cradle that holds the glow tie in place on the base of the microscope stand thingy. And of course, I needed a board to hold my pogo pins. The glow tie chip gets programmed over something called UART, which my computer can't speak. So I need this little bugger to be a translator between my computer's USB port and the glow tie. It takes in USB and spits out UART. It's exactly what we need. The board I made pretty much takes the output of this and connects it to pogo pins that are in exactly the right place so when it gets lower down onto the glow tie, they touch the five pads that I need for programming. So I whipped up a board in KiCad and sent it over to the mill, then some solder and some super glue and a load of blue tack. A programmer was born. <laughs> This mill has been a blast to use. Thank you so much to the Bantam Tools team for letting me play with your awesome machine. I've got some videos coming up where I do some super funky stuff with the mill, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you catch those when they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.